Hey there, this is John Lexo from ProSectorials. Welcome to the second video from this series. And in this video, I'm going to explain how you can create an image for your channel art, how you can create an avatar, and also how you can change the description from your YouTube channel. So by the end of this video, you will have a professional looking YouTube channel and it's always a great way for you to start your new YouTube channel. And for this, I'm going to, for the images, I'm going to use Photoshop. This is a software that allows you to edit the images and create the ones that you need. And Photoshop is not completely free. However, you can go to their website, which is photoshop.com. You have a link in the description from this video. You can go to their channel and get a 30 day free, tr free trial. So during a month, you can use it freely create the images that you need and so on anyway without further ado let's get started okay so the first thing that you want to do in your new youtube channel is simply give a description to your channel so for you to do that you just click on this button that says channel description once you do you can fill this blank spacing this blank test spacing with the information that you want when it comes to description well it's basically just a brief explanation about the what do you talk inside of your youtube channel so i recommend for you to give just a brief, brief description over here just write something and then the second thing that you want to do is create a channel art so for this i'm going to use photoshop and first i'm going to grab a template for me to be able to do a channel art really easily. So for me to do that, I go to this YouTube page. And once again, if you want to, to find this page easily, just click on the link that you can see on the description from this video. So you can immediately go to this page. So over here, they have the recommended sizes, but what you want to grab is the, ch the channel art template that they have. So for you to grab that, you just click on this link and you can see that it will download to your computer. Okay, so it will download, has a zip file. You need to unzip it so you can get the, the file that you can use inside of Photoshop. Once you have that done, you go to Photoshop. Okay, so for this section of the video, I recommend for you to first install Photoshop. So it will be easier for you to just follow the instructions that I'm going to give to you. And once you install Photoshop, you probably will see the options displayed in a different way. That's because I already changed them around and it might look a bit different from, from what you can see inside of your Photoshop. Now, what you want to do is you simply want to grab the template that you downloaded previously. So for you to do that, you go to file and you press open. Now you want to go to your computer and just find the place where you stored that channel. So it should look as channel art template photoshop.psd. So that's the file that you want. And this file will just appear after you unzip this file into your computer. So I'm just going to open this file. And once I open this file, this is exactly what you are able to see. Now. This dark gray area, this dark, dark gray area that you can see over here, this is the area that you are able to see exactly here. This is the area that you can see. And I guess that if you are following this video, very probably you are using a desktop for it. So this is the area that you see inside of the desktop. So this, this image will adjust depending on the, the size of the screen. So if people are seeing your, your channel art in a mobile, then they will see it a bit different than you. So that's important for you to notice. So basically you want to put your, your title from your channel inside of this dark area that you can see. Now, what you want to do first is get a background image for your your channel so for you to grab a background image I like to use pixabay.com so you can go over here because you can find plenty plenty of images that have 
no copyrights and it's always important for you to use everything with no copyrights inside of your YouTube videos inside of your in the art of your YouTube channel and so on never use anything with copyrights okay so I'm going to search for a background image from that is related to a beach so let's say that I want to use this one so I want to use this one and I'm just going to press free download and I want to choose the size for this so I'm going to choose this one because I think if I choose original I need to register and I don't want to do that at the moment so I'm just going to choose the large size and I'm going to download this to my computer now I just need to fill this captcha and just press download so you can download this file into your computer once you have that done what you want to do is you want to go back to Photoshop you want to go to to file and once again you want to open a new file into your Photoshop so let me just see the name of this file it's shells so that's the file that I need which is this one so this is the file that I want to use as my background image but it's important to notice that the size of this image of this layer in this case because if you don't know Photoshop works has layers and by this I mean that you can see in the layers tab and if you don't have the layers tab appearing then go to windows and just select layers so you can get this window appearing over here so once you you have a layer what this means is this is the first layer which is exactly this one that I'm working with at the moment because you can see that I have it selected so that's the layer that I'm working at the moment but if I create a new layer by clicking on this small icon that seems like a white page you can see that I create a new layer this new layer is right on top of my background and once I paint something like me paint over here something so I'm going to choose the brush tool and I'm going to just paint something over here so you can see more exactly what I'm talking about okay so I'm painting over here something and this is the layer that is right on top okay so that means that if I pass this layer behind my background it will disappear it will disappear because it's behind my background layer because this one is on top but if I pass it to the front and it will reappear once again because this layer is on top of my background layer I hope that made sense because uh, it's really important one of the main features of Photoshop is really learning how to work with all of these different layers so I'm going to delete this and I'm going to see the size of this image by simply going to image and selecting image size I'm able to see the width and the height of this image of my background image and I want to do this width in this case for this image that will be displayed in my background area so once again I go to image I choose image size and I can see the current size that I have for this image so I want to make it this size and make sure that you have this chain over here selected so it can increase the size in proportion also make sure that in this list you select preserve details enlargement so it can have more quality once you increase the background image and I'll just press OK and you will see that in just a, it's just increasing the size it's just taking a while but it will increase the size as you can see now you can see that this is locked this image this sim background image so basically I cannot work at the moment with this image so for me to unlock it make sure that you are select you have this arrow select in the the toolbox so just select this arrow once you do that double click on your layer this window will appear and just press OK and this will unlock your background background image so you can start working with it now what you do is 
you just click on the layer just like this and you can see that I'm always holding my mouse button and you can see that it allows me to drag this image exactly to the the previous section just like this so basically what I did was I'm going to repeat once again so you can see more exactly so I selected my layer I click it with my left left mouse button and I'm always holding my button and I just drag it to my previous image just like this and you can see that it immediately appears over here now what you need to do and once again make sure that you're always using this arrow because this arrow allows you to move the images that you have inside of your in this case inside of your this area where you are working with so only select use this arrow and you can drag this image until it's well centered just like this so once again make sure that you put the at least the the most interesting section in this area because this is the area that will appear over here so always put the most most interesting part of your image appearing in this section and you can see that it doesn't look that great because well I'm just doing this uh, randomly so you probably will need to work with this a bit more and now what you want to do is simply add a title so the title of your channel for you to do that you just click on this small T because this small T once you have this selected it will allow you to pretty much write whatever you want inside of your image so you can see that now you have a different cursor appearing and you just need to click on your image and once you do that you will see this this cursor over here blinking where you can start writing whatever you want so let's say that I want to write Procedures but the first thing that you want to do is simply select the found family that you want to use so you can see that I have plenty of different found families and if you want more found families for your title you can go to this website called the font so just go to this website called thefont.com and you can find huge huge amounts of different fonts that you can use freely inside of your your image so you just need to download this and then just put it in the found file that you have in this case I'm using Windows so it will be inside of the the found file the found file that I have inside of Windows also you need to basically reboot Photoshop so it will appear over here in this section so I'm just going to use timeline which is the found family that I want to use you can see that the size is just huge so I'm going to click on this small arrow so I can reduce the size of my font a bit and you can see that now the cursor is appearing a bit smaller and I can change also the color of my font just by clicking on this small this rectangle and just selecting a different color from this panel so let's say that I want red because it's very visible and now I just write what I want so in this case I have caps lock actually I think this font is always in caps lock so and once again it's way too big so I'm going to make sure that you are you have this layer selected so you can work with it each time that you want to work with a specific layer always make sure that you have it selected and now I'm going just to use the arrow so I can move my test around and you can see that it's way too big so once again I'm going to select the T click on my test select everything and go back to this option so I can select decrease the size of my title to let's say 36 and see how it looks like way too big so let's go to 30 pixels too big 24 pixels and just decrease a bit more and let's say 20 pixels for this and actually you can see that I have this this image this this top 
image appearing, which is basically the guidelines. And if I don't want this to be displayed, I can just check this small eye that you can see. And you can see that it disappears. And this way you can see more exactly how your channel art will look like. So now just center this. And once again, make sure that you don't put your title over here in this section because this section is where your avatar image will appear. So if you put your title over here, then your avatar will appear on top of it and people won't be able to easily read the title of your channel. So you can put like this, the title, and then you can write below a subtitle something just explaining what your channel talks about let's say wordpress channel so this i'm going to actually decrease the size a bit let's say 14 pixels put it right below just like this and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to put a border appearing around my letters so they will be more easily visible to anyone who reads this title. So for me to do that, I'm going to select a letter where I, ha where I have my title of my channel and I'm going to select the control button in my keyboard and I'm just going to click on this layer. And you can see that it selects everything. Now I go to the select tab, modify, and I choose expand. And I'm going to increase to 50 pixels. And I'm going to zoom in so I can see it more easily by using this zoom tool. And I click over here on my image and you can see that I can get more zoom on my title so I can see it more easily. So in this case, I'm going to paint this white, the border. So for me to do that, you can see that below I have two squares which I can choose from. And the front square, the first square that appears, is the color that I have selected at the moment. And once I click on this small arrow, you can see that the color that was appearing previously in the back goes to the front, and that means this color is the one that is selected at the moment. And if you want to change this color, just click on this small square, and once again, this window appears where you can select a different color. So in this case, I'm just going to use white and I'm going to select this small bucket because this allows me to fill a specific area with the color that I want. Once I click on it, this will rasterize this, uh, this layer so I can paint with the color that I want. So once you press OK, now I just select the border and you can see that it fills all of this spacing with white. I'm going to put over here in between because this area is not painted. I'm going to do this, this over here, this over here. Okay. Now once you have everything filled with this color, you just can select everything just by clicking on this magic wand. I think this is the magic wand that they call it. And now I'm going to do the same thing for the subtitle that appears uh, over here on the bottom. On the bottom, I mean. So once again, I'm going to select everything by pressing control, clicking on my layer. Everything is selected. I go to the select tab, press modify and choose expand. And in this case, I'm just going to expand three pixels because the letters are a bit smaller. And I'm going to press OK. I'm going to do the same thing. Select the color over here. In this case, I want to use white once again. Choose the bucket. It will rasterize this image and basically do the same thing as I did previously. In this case, it's a bit more difficult for you to choose the right areas, as you may see. So, okay, so once you have everything done, let's just zoom out so you can see more exactly. Okay, this doesn't really look impressive. I just did this randomly, but I guess you get the idea of how you can create a channel art for your YouTube channel. 
So once you have everything that you you want has your channel earth, you need to save this file. So for you to do that, you go to file. And in this case, I'd like to save it save for web because it typically has a better quality. So I'm just going to save for web. This will save has a PNG file. It might just take a, a few seconds because this image is quite big. And you cannot see the image correctly because the size is so, so large that you're not able to see it well. Anyway, what you need to do is just press the save button and save it to one of the areas in your computer. In this case, I'm just going to leave it in the desktop as channel art beach so I can easily see which which one it is and just press save. Now you go back to your channel and this might just take a few seconds because it's uh, it's a really a large uh, image. So you want to go to your channel and you want to press hatch and alert. Now you go to your computer and you select from your computer the right file which is this one and you just open it. And now you can get several views how it will look like on TV on mobile and also on desktop so just press select and it will save and you can see that it will just take a few seconds until it just appears so now I have my channel art now what you want to do is you want to create a small avatar for for this section over here so once again you need to head back to Photoshop so I'm going back to Photoshop for this Okay, so for the avatar, you want to create an image of 800 by 800 pixels. For that, you go to File, you choose New, and in this section, in Width, you just put, and make sure that you are using pixels for this. So you just put 800 and Height, also 800. And just press OK. So this is the basically the area that you want to work with. So for this you can pretty much put whatever you want. If you want you can go back to Pixabay, see if they have icons or something that you may want to put as your image. You can also take a photo from yourself and also use that as your avatar image. Let's say that I'm going to grab a face so you can get a better idea. Okay, so let me see. Let me see this one. So let's say that this would be an image representing myself. So I'm just going to select, in this case, the small size or medium size. In this case, I'm just going to select medium size. Save this file to my computer. Put this capture, I guess it's this, and just download it to my computer. Go back to Photoshop and my layer is over here. This is the window that I want to work with. And now I just select File, Open, because I want to grab the previous file, which is Man, this one. And now I'm just going to, let me see the size of this. It's probably a bit too big. I'm going to Image Size so I can pro decrease the size a bit. Let's say 90, 180 pixels. Let's just put with 8 pixels. Make sure once again that you have this chain selected so you can decrease the size in proportion. And over here if you want you can put a bicubic sharper reduction because this makes the reduction, reduction have more quality. And just press OK. And actually I just remove myself from this this layer over here and now basically you are going to do the same thing you're make sure that you have the arrow selected so you can move things around and then you just choose this layer you drag it and just drop it in your previous area that you saw over here and now just center it just like this and like and for example this would be your avatar 
So now I'm just going to save this to my computer. Once again, I'm going to save for web because it has more quality and just press save. And let's call this avatar, avatar and save it just like this on my desktop. Go back to my YouTube channel. And in this case, you can see that once I over this section, I have this small pencil so I can edit. And I'm just going to press edit. This actually takes me to my Google Google uh, profile. So over here, you want to change profile photo because this is what will actually change your avatar inside of YouTube. So you want to grab the, the avatar that you created, open it up. Actually, I'm going to increase this a bit, this box, and set has profile photo. You can see that it changed, and you may want to change the cover of this. This is your Photoshop, this is your Google Plus profile, so you may want to put the the image that you created previously for your channel, which is this one. And you want may want to use this one for your YouTube, for your Google accounts. And you can see that it changes. So once this is done, I'm going to refresh my channel and you will be able to see that now I have an avatar appearing. So basically that's how you can configure your YouTube channel and have something that looks more professional. So that is all for now. In my next video, I'm going to talk about the equipment that you need so you can start recording your first YouTube videos. So that is all for now. Please like and also subscribe so you can receive my weekly video updates where I talk about YouTube marketing, how you can use WordPress and a lot more. So stay there, stay tuned with ProSite tutorials and bye.